when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. This is a natural gas that we talked about yesterday. There was the key level. There was a 382. There was the 38% retracement back. Spot on. We were on the air with that happened. And uh, once we came to this level right here, uh, you know, we were trying to explain to, uh, no, excuse me, it was this level right here this was a terrible place to buy because it was so far uh, below the opening price and there was no really good clear pattern in here and of course it came down uh, we went a little below the 786 but we just rallied back to the 382 here at uh, 281 we rallied thirteen hundred dollars off of that low now if it's correct it's not going to get any higher than 283 so the risk on that is about three hundred dollars which is uh, certainly uh, respectable okay now let's go through uh, some of the other uh, I'll cover some of the other stock indices but it has a uh, relatively uh, bearish uh, tone to it right now but that could change and we'll, we'll wait and see uh, how it all ends up at here at the end of the day uh, first one we want to take a look at uh, the positions that we have on this is the live hogs as you can see uh, it's been coming down uh, quite a bit. Uh, we had a little tiny bit of a rally today. Uh, we'll just clean out these so we can. you can see the big ABCD to the downside. And now we had a little bit of a rally here. Clean out those and we'll take a quick look at it. From the hot last high we made here yesterday, which was a 61% retracement of that move. It came right up a little above the 382. It's now dropped another 100 points down. It's still very, very bearish. Remember, we sold this on the daily charts up there at 85, right up at 84, excuse me, 84.80. And then we had the big rally. That tells us that we're most probably, this was your 61% rally. Our stop was right above there. And now it's starting to, to move down a little better. Now, someone's asked me to take a look at the corn market because uh, we uh, – I hadn't officially said this except with the radio show, and that was buying the, the December corn at a two <clears throat> at two nineteen. I really thought it was going to go a little lower than that. So let me check to see what it's doing today. Actually, it's actually working pretty good. Uh, the buy at uh, two twenty one would have been uh, pretty good after all. We'll look at this here. I hadn't looked at this all morning, folks. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. <laughs> Let's get this over here. There was the buy right here at the 219. We got as low, uh, three cents lower, and now you know we started to move up uh, pretty good, which is pretty nice. There was a day. See, there's just one second, folks. I need to take a deep breath here, take a little drink of water. Well, I tell you, when this stuff hits you, it hits you pretty hard. Okay. There was the day that not only that, we have a full moon here. Not that that means a lot. Let's just take a look at that full moon stuff since we have time here to look at it. I'm just going to put in the moon phases here. Uh, Ensign put those in for me years ago. There's your full moon right here. The last time we had a full moon, one day off, uh, right near the high. There's your new moon. Uh, Two days before the high, but you got to use patterns, folks. I mean, the, the 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 timing is the most difficult part of this business, and the reason why it's so difficult is because time is elusive. No one's ever really discovered, you know, what the overall timing mechanism is. But the patterns are there all the time, and this is all we were doing, and this is all I do all the time. This is a one three five pattern, there, folks. Look at that. There's one three five. Look at it all the time. Now, let's play the devil's advocate and look at one that might be failing, and that is that Bitcoin that we were looking at the other day. Okay? Here, hey, look, folks, it doesn't make any, whether it's Bitcoin or Swiss cheese, these patterns work on everything. Anything that's traded by the human uh, psychic 
there there's where we are okay here's where we are the bitcoin 1.1618 expansion married to <laughs> measure to 91 4 91 740 and the actual high was 91 oh, i did that wrong it measured to 91 um, 440 and the high was 91740 300 points on something that's trading for 91000 now we have guess what a 135 level here in bitcoin this is the i bet which is the uh, the etf that trades right along with uh, bitcoin you can trade it uh, have, they have options at the merc and everything but you can see yesterday's low went right down to the low right there so once we get below that it's going to be pretty uh pretty nasty would be my guess here with this okay so that's what i'm showing you on the bitcoin i want to show you the uh, longer picture on that because i drew that by hand as i remember there's the abcd this was a perfect 61 percent retracement a perfect abcd and a perfect 1.618. If that's the case, Bit Bitcoin should come down, draw this line straight across, pull the 618 up. That would bring in Bitcoin down to about, uh, looks like about 56,000. Yeah, boy, that's a, that's a big drop from 91 to 56. That's a that scared the bejeebies out of you. And remember, you see how straight it went up and how quickly it came down? Well, we're doing the same thing here. But that number should not be taken out. You see, ninety-two thousand in Bitcoin. This would be a this would be a bad trade, and you don't want to have anything to do with it. So that's what we're watching here as we go through uh, some of these other things that we're watching. All right, I've been asked to take a look here. One second here, I'll get the other charts up so we can look look at them. I'm finished with that one for the day. Get that out of the way. We're looking at this and that and all this other stuff. Here's one that we talked about in the video last night that looked just flat out bearish, folks. And uh, there's where we were. Uh, we came down into this area. It was rallying up. And I said, this doesn't look very good. And I said, you know, I was hoping we would get up here to make this ABCD, but we couldn't even take this out. Now, of course, we had a pretty big break to the downside here of about buck and a half a barrel. But as we're doing that, you can see here, we'll get the, the uh, hourly chart up that uh, we're now getting ready to take out the lows of the 13th, folks. And let me tell you, that is not good because that goes back to October 28th. And that means that you're looking at something really nasty here in oil, which is good for us because the gasoline is going to be a lot cheaper. But if you're in the oil business, it doesn't look too much but you can already see we're almost ready to take that out looking at it today on a smaller time frame let's just see if we could find a 382 somewhere in here and there's none here since the early morning high you can see there's nothing excuse me <coughs> time out Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors.
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, this is the Treasury bond market. Over the last couple weeks, now something significant happened today in the interest rate field. This is the low that we made here today at uh, 115.11, the same low that we made way back here on August, uh, excuse me, on, on November the 6th, right after the election. Uh, that came in at the same price. But if we take a look, and this is what I uh, brought this to your attention here, on the videos last night, let me uh, get this chart up here for the uh, Treasury notes, which is the largest of all the commodity markets that we trade. Just one second. Boy, I've got a terrible throat here. Hold on a second. Here it is right now. And you're going to be able to see there's a you'll see here we made a lower low than yesterday by, by quite a bit. There was a low back here. So bonds were acting stronger than the notes. But look what's happened to the notes. Here's what I miss, folks. If we look at this on the long-term daily, okay, we're going to look at it two different ways. This says that the low should have come in at 10903. If we look at the daily, which includes the carryover, you'll see that the low, same low, 10903. So we made a lower low. This is the same factor that we looked at. This is a good sign, folks, for bonds to have a pretty good rally. Now, I'm going to talk to you about something you don't want to hear. Okay, 1987, we had a crash. That was We had one other sp flash crash that was BS. Crashes happen about once every 60, 70 years, folks. They are so doggone rare that it's just, un well, not that off and often, but they do happen. But they happen because people are on the wrong side of the market, and they all try to get out at the same time usually through a news, uh, some type of a news event. I don't know if that's going to happen now, but let me tell you what happened to the bonds during that move down in October of 19 every seven that I was very heavily involved in. I had puts, they expired on October 16th, the day before the crash. They made a lot of money, folks. I was really happy. If I'd have held them, if I had November puts instead of October puts, you just add another zero onto what I would have made. But that didn't happen, so that doesn't make any difference. What happened to the bond market is what was important. When James Baker left the, he was the Secretary of the Treasury, was in China, uh, Hong, uh, Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, he came out of a meeting in Hong Kong and says, well, the results was not as we expected. And when he said the word results, there was no uh, early morning trading or anything like that. Okay, there was no way to protect yourself. Markets, 
in the currency markets all went crazy to the upside. Gold went up the limit. Uh, bonds were about down about a half a point, and I was really bullish bonds, and I was very very stocks, but I was basically out of my stock position because I didn't catch that move to the downside because I was in options. Okay, we're down roughly 16%, 16% on where we are today. You multiply 16%, roughly uh, 40,000 on the Dow. That's 2,400 points down in one day in the Dow Jones in 87. That's how big it was, 16% to the downside. Biggest crash ever. Bonds, I mean, that world is collapsing, folks, and bonds are down a half a point. And I am long bonds, okay? And I'm nervous as hell because I see these things. You couldn't even get out of positions if you were long. I mean, it was a disaster. So I got a little nervous, and I said, ah, I better get out of these bonds. So I got out of the bonds, and as soon as I hit the click, uh, oh, no, it wasn't click. I had to call those in back in those days. As soon as I hung up the phone, the, uh, the bonds jumped about a half a point to be unchanged. They went up 11 handles, folks over the next few days. That was the move that made Larry Williams, he was already famous, but he was super famous there because he took a $50,000 account to a million dollars, okay? What they don't tell you in the news, which I know about because Byron Tucker was involved, he was a member of that, clearing member of that firm, is that that account got to two million and then it had a million dollar drawdown. And that's when the guy decided to uh, exit the position. Had he not exited, he would have got out, but with substantially less than he got out with. But he made from 50000 he made $2 million, And then the market backed off. And, of course, bonds continued to go up uh, you know, for, for a lot more than that. So we're going to come into crazy time one of these days. It might not be in this move. It might not be in the next move. But there's going to be stuff coming out there. So by God and by God. What's the words? I can't remember. It doesn't make any difference. Make sure that you put a stop in on something, even if it's a disaster stop, because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you, no one knows what's going to happen. So you've got to be very, very careful. But I do believe we're starting a significant rally in the bond market, and I think it'll probably last uh, – at least five, six days, maybe two weeks. Look how we come down for six weeks. We ought to have a little bit of a rally, don't you think? But the fact that we could not take this low out in the bonds, we did in the notes, that was a very good sign. We were on the air when I said that, but uh, whether you were taking advantage of it or not, I really don't know. Let's get this out here and take a move out. If it's, we have to check two stocks for everybody. One is the uh, Tesla. Oh. Uh, but uh, you have to respect Mr. Uh, Elon Musk. He is a true certified genius because, my God, all the things he's done with all this stuff. Uh, people complain that he's made a lot of money. I mean, somebody – can you imagine what Nicholas Tesla would have made? Hello, operator. How much Nicholas Tesla would have made in these kind of markets back in those days? Shut the front door. I don't know if you know this or not, but – one of the smartest people that ever walked the earth, words of Albert Einstein, not me, was Isaac Newton. And I've showed you the pictures of, of Jeff Hughes brings this out and shows you the South Sea Island bubble he was involved with in the 18th century, 1765. And uh, he had made a fortune. And the market kept going up and going up. And he had FOMO hitting, fear of missing out. And so two days before the high, he jumped back in. And six weeks later, he lost, he lost everything he had and, and lost all of his money. He, he didn't die a pauper, but he didn't die rich. And he was one of the richest or one of the smartest people ever to, uh, uh, you know, live on the earth. The, the quote was from uh, a meeting that Einstein was being interviewed. And they asked him, who were the smartest people on the earth? And he said, there was God and then there was man. And in between was Pythagoras. And then there was Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Thomas Edison, uh, uh, oh, what was the other guy? Michael, not Michelangelo, what's the other dude? Galileo. And he said, of course, me. So he included him in the top five. That's probably true, but what do I know about this? Anyway, we're having a nice rally here in Tesla. So let's look at it closely from a technical standpoint. There's the hourly chart, what we want to be watching for, okay? And if you're... 
uh, pattern recognition trader. You want to watch for this move right here. There's your high and there's your low. You want to watch for a 382 retracement. It comes in here at 28. The high today has been 24. So I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we need to look at it. The next one they're asking me about here. Let's check our clock on the wall. See how we're doing here. Oh, we got a minute and 30 seconds. At, oh, we got 30 seconds. Not much, but we'll get the Apple chart up here and take a look at it when it comes up. And when we get back, we'll talk about Apple. Okay. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Keckstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, as you can see, folks, Apple has taken out the high the last few days here. Uh, there was your rally back here on the 8th. Now, we'll just look at this on the half hour chart and you'll be able to see here uh well there it is right there 
uh, and it's just uh, coming down. Um, well, this this worked for a very short period of time, went up and matched the retracement. Let's just move it over so we can see it from the whole thing. Let's just draw it all together so the whole thing, you can see there's the 61% retracement off of this high, and I believe it's 50% off of the big high that we had way back here on October the 16th. And that came in at the 50% uh, level. And here's where we are uh, right now with Apple. In fact, as you can see here, Apple has got a nice uh, downslope or upsloping 135 pattern. Looks pretty good to see if it's going to hold this level. But anything below this, folks, breaks the 135 because you've got to blow this up. You'll see it real clearly. You go from your low to your high, you come right in at your 61% retracement, spot on this morning. Okay, and there's your 786. This is the pattern from Roy Longstreet and his fine son, Bill. And uh, you can see it's, there's a 786, there's a 618, and it's bounced off that uh, a little bit. In fact, it, it was just made a new low of a day here just a minute ago, and uh, that's what we're watching here uh, with the Apple. Okay, now we're going to switch over and get into some futures contracts. Excuse me, with the um, I want to get up the someone's asked to follow these things we were looking at with coffee. <laughs> I will do that coffee and both cocoa. I do not trade these only from just bad memories. That's all it is, folks. It was nothing to do with the exchange. And look at this. We thought co coffee was going to get stronger. Oh my God. Look at this, two big gap ups here, boy. This is this is when you get to see gaps like this, shut the front door, boy. Oh, it's going to be uh, tough on Starbucks because they're going. They're, we're, we're going here. This is where we're going. You're 1.68 with these gaps like this. Oh, I don't think there's any question about it. Let's just look at this. This is what we had happening when the when the election happened. We had all this stuff. Uh, maybe they elected Coffee, the king of the. Yeah, well, this is where we're going right there, or possibly higher. That's another 15 bucks. We've got a gap here and a gap here. Shut the front door. This is a, this is a monster coming in here. Look at this. It's, there's your 382 right here off of the low right back here. We, that's what we talked about yesterday. There's your high right here. There's your low right there. There's your 382. Hit it one, two, three, four, five times, and then boom, away that it goes. Here, here's the one that's hard to do. This is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. When you come in Thursday and it gaps up like this, let's just see how much it gapped up. We'll do the hourly chart here, and we'll move this over a little bit, and we'll be able to see it here. Well, this doesn't show a gap. I wonder why that is. Well, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Well, well that's the old... Well, <laughs> folks... I use the delayed data on coffee and cocoa because I don't like trading them. And that's what we're not seeing here is delayed data. But the, the data is okay. Here's your low right here. Where does it pull in? Right at your 382. Move over again. The market's running like crazy. If you take your last low here, pull it up right there. What's that? There's your 382 again. And then boom, away it goes. And you backed off again off of this last low. And that, oh, that's the wrong one to look at. Larry, right, hold on a second here. Boy. There's your low right there, 382. That's a 10 cents in coffee, folks. And that amount is, believe it or not, uh, I think it's four, four grand. I don't remember what the, even the handle is anymore on that. All right. Okay, here's one I'm afraid we've missed, okay, folks. Well, it's still a little early, but that is the uh, treasury, uh, God, Larry, the soybean meal. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it here. There's our December soybean meal. We're trying to buy that down here. And uh, boy, it looked like we were going to make it. It got to 85 this morning, folks, and then it just took off. It took out the low of the previous day, 85. We're trying to buy at 83. It's now at 90. Looking at it intraday, I was watching it take off. And I said, well, maybe I should wait for the first uh, 382 retracement. So I see the move up. There it is right there. I didn't do it because I'm involved with the stock stuff and, you know, other baloney had it there. Then it makes a new high. And what you have to do is you have to reevaluate. And there it is. there's your best one right here because you've got an ABCD right there at 287. That's that's only 300 bucks, but 300 bucks is uh, better than nothing, as they say in the trade. Now, 
we'll get rid of this and we'll get rid of the bond market here and let's take a look at the uh, this natural gas to see how well, you would have gotten filled here hold on just a second folks you would have gotten filled here but yeah you would have gotten filled there you go so if you're in that you put your stop at uh, 83 and you sold it at uh, 81 and a half this is roughly 81 let's call it 81 and then you put your stop above that and you you don't have to risk very much but that's what you want to be watching for that that's very low risk that's all we're that's all we're trying to see as we look at these things uh, unfold i can tell you this by looking at some of these charts and things that we do we got a rate coming up here in a little bit but we we are in a situation, folks, that we've seen things that we haven't seen before. I I personally have been doing this for a very very long time, and uh, but with the election uh, euphoria, I guess you would call it, it took markets to areas that they've never seen before. I mean, I trust me, I've gone through. <laughs> don't make any difference whether you trust me or not. I know I'm right. Hey, I never said that very often. Um, well, I think I'm right. I'm often in doubt, but never, I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. When you see gaps, like we're seeing in these banking stocks, and everybody in the world is banking, uh, banking stocks are, are real crazy for banking stocks. BlackRock came out and said they're putting all $2 billion into the banking system. I don't know when they told you that or whether it's right or not, but that's what they said they were doing. Okay, now here is the, here's the banking sector. Okay, now there's the banking, and Somebody put some money in it here. I don't know how much they put in here, but look what's happened. We got this huge gap up in this area right here. You know, we were supposed to have a banking problem, and now they tell us everybody wants to own these banks. Are you kidding me? I don't. I don't understand that. But when you see gaps like this, these gaps are all filled. You know, they're going to be filled. Yeah, maybe there'll be a buy down here possibly, but also if people change their mind and say, hey, you know, maybe we have to recount the votes or whatever they want to do. I don't know. That'll be a big difference. So that's just, uh, oh, I think that would do the time on the wall here. Let's see. So I think we're ready for a break. 40 seconds. We're going to take a look at one of my favorite stocks, uh, J.P. Morgan. I had lunch with him 15 years ago when he was at uh, J.P. Morgan in Mexico City. And the featured speaker was Rich Anderson, sat right next to J.P. trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is the weekly chart for JP Morgan. Uh, back in 2002, uh, we were in Mexico City. Mark Douglas was speaking at a financial meeting there on psychology of trading. And uh, he was living here in Tucson with us, and Rich came out to visit, and uh, he was also going to Mexico. So the three of us went down together, and uh, we actually had uh, dinner with uh, J.P. Morgan. What a nice fellow. He's very humble, just as fun to be around. And uh, he had he would he had only been a uh, the, the chairman of the board. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't remember. Just about two years. I think it was oh one, yeah, about a year. So it was in, but I, I saved this chart because back in uh, 2015, uh, you'll see he bought, actually 2016, he bought two, about $2 million worth of uh, J.P. Morgan stock at $59 a share. And here it is today, trading at an all-time high at, one, at 245 And you can see here was a great place to buy it. You see the pullback right here. This is a pullback on the weekly right at the 382 and if you wanted to you know watch the 382s how they work through this is a weekly chart so we'll just see you put them in here and look right at uh, how close did we come on the weekly right here oh the 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 low comes in at uh, uh 179 and the market came down to uh uh you know 177 is the uh, 382 it came down to 179 it missed it by two dollars a share and then here's where we are now making new highs it's a very very powerful stock okay all right now we'll get that out of the way and we'll move on to a couple other questions that people are having one second and i'll move around a little bit here um, get this out of the way and we'll see where we are here with some of these things with these markets here. This is the one that is the weakest, folks. This is the one that's going to cause the biggest problem. This is the – well, then none of them going to cause a big problem. This is the Russell. Uh, one of my – like I mentioned to you just a little while ago, one of my – I guess you would say one of the followers, if I hear such a thing, people that follow pattern recognition, swing traders, share some things on stock indices with me uh, yesterday that I had not seen before. I mean, I'm a, you know, I'm an old, uh, old timer. And, you know, back in the old days, you couldn't trade multiple positions because, you know, we didn't have these computers and all this stuff. But he showed me something you can do with a computer that really tells you what the markets are doing. And the reason why is with the Dow, with the Dow Jones index, there's only 30 stocks in that and only 20 of those stocks are triple digits. The other 10 don't mean anything at all. So the big ones are United Healthcare, number one. Number two is Goldman Sachs. And number three, I think, is tied between Caterpillar, Microsoft, and uh, maybe some somebody else. But those those are the big $400 ones. Let's take a look at Softy this morning. 
and see what it's doing because it it didn't it didn't follow the rest of these. Oh, there's a bad tick in here, folks. So let me get rid of that. That would be you want to buy down here when you get a bad tick, but that doesn't happen. We'll just delete that bar, and they'll hopefully they'll refresh that later on for me. Look at this is even down again today. All we could do on a big rally because of the um, election, all it could do was make a 61% retracement. That's not that's not bearish that's not bearish action, folks. There's your 61 right there. There's your ABCD. This is this market's uh, this is ready to roll over. It looks like, but you know, I'm just giving you. Heads up at what I'm looking at. The one that's the worst is this one. The reason why it's the worst, folks, is because of the the long-term weekly chart. We made a high up here. We matched this. We took this high out by 10 points, 24.63, 24.66. We are down 150 handles in two sessions. What do we do if we get below here? All these people. There, there's. This is what causes problems. When you get something like this, boom. Pay attention to this right here, folks. This is what you want to be looking for. Usually, a CRASH, I don't even like to use the words because they're so rare, will happen when you come down and have a snapback rally. That's exactly what we had in 1987. The market topped on August the 25th, harmonic convergence with all the planets coming in. It went down into September 26th into the solar eclipse. It rallied seven days into October 2nd, right at a 61% retracement. And then it started down. And I bought puts on the 2nd of October. They expired on Friday, October the 16th. And the next day was the crash. And I was so happy that day on that Friday because the Dow was down 105 points and I had puts on. This is when the S&P had $500 on a handle, not $50 a handle. So that was a good deal. Anyway, this is what we're looking at you know, with Russell right now. And so it's probably pulling things down a bit. As you can see, they're still coming down. Looking at it on a real short-term basis today, you see you had your high right up here and you rallied up and where did you stop? Bada bing, bada boom, within one point of the exact 382. Folks, remember these because they don't work all the time, but guess what? Nothing does. That's the real treat of watching this. Now, let's take a look at soybeans. We had a request to take it to beans because I, if they're, if they're going to explode this thing with uh, funny money, these rains are going to be the buy of the century. We've already looked at the meal. Let's take a look at the oil because oil made a beautiful uh, 382 retracement early this morning. I don't know if it stayed that way or not. Let's get it up here. Get it up here on the hourly chart. Yeah, there it is. It went right down, right up to your 382. Oh, yeah, there's your low to high. There's your 382 right here. Now, that's $300. I mean, if you're day trading, that's, you know, that's quite a bit of money, but that's exactly right. So we sold it here, we bought it there, it got stopped out, break even, and now it's starting to move down a little more. I'm really, I hate to use the word, I'm hoping, but that's a terrible trading word, but we're not trading in it yet, so I'm hopeful <laughs> that it'll get down, that Mia will get down to that uh, 280, uh, 280 level. That's what I'm really looking for to, uh, to really do. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Um, got this sore throat and this raspiness nothing I can do about it we've only got a minute or two to go here by the way I get emails every 10 minutes oh a couple of announcements Stan Harley will be our guest next Friday he's already he's already agreed to that okay that's our trading day and also I want to mention to you Bill Meridian they just had a special in the New York Times about Bill Meridian and astrology in the markets so uh, you want to go in online and Google that and uh, really good explanation of how he uses it. And we already know how he uses it, but get an idea that he's a very, very famous fellow. And uh, that's uh, the key to what we're watching here in some of these markets here Oh, today. So let's uh, remind ourselves it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you keep. And that's the whole thing of what we're watching here. Okay. All right, let's see what the old time on the clock is here. We've got uh, 47 seconds. It's a lifetime in the radio business. We want to look at wheat because wheat has gotten its proverbial butt kicked. I hope it's had its rally back a little bit because there's where we were. You'll notice here we had this we talked about yesterday. We had this ABCD move, market repeating. 
There it is right there. And right now it's up a little bit from the low here at uh, 730. Here was your 786 level. I never did anything in the weed, recommended it on any of the videos. Let's take a break, 877. Um, what is on the break? If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we're looking at the low in gold here yesterday at uh, 2545 That's uh, $260 lower then the high that it came in at 2801 and that's just in a matter of a few weeks we're waiting to see if we get a little bit of a ABCD correction to the upside but as you can see here to gold's great to trade folks um, if you have the smaller contract it's also okay but you can see here it trades off these numbers really nicely let's move this up here there's your 61 percent retracement there's your ABCD pattern right in here there's your profit objective. Uh, we'd already made that, but just your risk is what's so great, because here you can trade something. And then the mini gold, you can trade those. That, that's half contract size, but even the big ones, you can trade that and risk five dollars. So you got two hundred fifty, a quarter of a million dollars, in control, and you can trade it for you know five hundred to a thousand bucks. That's good thing. And and look at the crude oil. It's even better, because crude oil the um, I think the margin's seven thousand in crude oil, and you know that that moves a dollar, two dollars all the time. So that's one of the things that we're watching here. So I want you folks to do something. We got the holidays coming up. 
try to do something re really nice for your neighbors, folks, because uh, everybody's having a little trouble here and there. It's always nice to help people out, that's for sure, especially during the holiday season. And a lot of people are having a lot of trouble. Okay, so I think that's about it. I'll see you on the flip side uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll have uh, have a lot of fun. I think uh, what is tomorrow? That is uh, uh, nobody's birthday tomorrow, so that'll be go. Oh, tomorrow is Saturday. I'm not going to even be on tomorrow. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'm going to be in bed. I love you, folks. Keep supporting TFNN, and we'll see you on the flip side on Monday. Talk to you later, folks. Bye-bye. Steve Rose.